Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn for the month of February. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to go ahead and get started. I already started this reading, and um, <laughs> my camera fell over, and I wasn't even... I wasn't even touching it, okay? The whole stand just, like, fell right over. And I'm not even touching it, okay? But it, it just, like, did a wicked flop. And I could I could keep that, but um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to because I think I swore. And uh, it, was, it was like a holy shit kind of freaking moment. So I'm not sure what is happening, but there, you could be dealing with a holy shit moment. And my, I don't know why my camera would just fall over like that. Um, the whole stand, you know, the tripod. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not sure. Yeah, this was the card. Help from above was what uh, came out for this card. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. There's obviously somebody here that is guiding you. And you may be, you may, you may be falling down. You, you, you may um, collapse or you may have hit your knees in a situation. You may be feeling down. You may be feeling why. Why has this happened? We did have the justice reversed as well. It was only three cards in. We had justice reversed. Um, and that is uh, unfair. It's like you may feel like there has been something that has happened that is unfair. You're not happy with the outcome. There may have been a court ruling or a case that didn't turn in your favor, didn't turn out in your favor. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take the same cards. I'll just start right. I, obviously, I put them on the bottom here. So um, the first card was the moon. But anyway, what we had was help from above. It was like somebody from the other side is guiding you. It's either an angel or God or a guardian angel or somebody that has passed away. Okay, they're here and they're helping you and everything happens for a reason. You may not see it though. You may not be seeing something clearly. Okay, this was the first card out. You may not be seeing something clearly because there's a shadow. There's some sort of cloud. It's like there's hidden forces that is causing you not to see something clearly. There's a reason why everything happens. Okay, so I feel like there's some, some hidden forces here that are, are changing a circumstance in your life. And you may be unsure, unclear as to why all of this is happening. And I got through maybe, what, maybe five, well, we're at three minutes now. I'd say five, six minutes. And that's when all of a sudden this, this tripod just like fell right over. And I was like, and it happened like, I don't even know what happened. I, would, I didn't even see it coming. Obviously, I was concentrating on the reading. And these were the two of these. Okay, so we had a couple of these right here. And I'm not going to start over because it was pretty prompt. These two were on top. Yep, they were. So it was Weeping Willow, Family Sorrow, and a Period of Ill Health Depression. So what I'll do is I will I'll cut that other video. And I will I'll put it up as a bonus for you guys so you can see. Um, right up until the thing flops. Okay, right up until it. So I will cut it. I'll cut it right up. So it'll be like... So you can see, you can see the shuffle. I'm not going to add it to this video because it takes too long to edit. So anyhow, um, but you'll be able to see what happened. I'll just put it like a little bonus for you guys. But anyway, so you can see the shuffling that went on. Weeping willow, family sorrow, and a period of ill health and depression. So obviously you're going through a family situation that is, is difficult. It's difficult. And, um, you know, a, a fly is, is a, it, it is, can be a symbol of death and help from above can be somebody that has passed away. So it feels like you're receiving some sort of guidance from somebody that has passed away and you're probably feeling depressed. So I think it, it, you, you're feeling depressed over some sort of family situation right now. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put this away. Now we had three cards. We had three, all we had was three. We had the moon. And then we had the Prince of Wands like this. And you know, see, that's where it stopped. It stopped. Right. Obviously, I flipped that one over the wrong way. This was reversed right here. Um, so let's just put it back the way it was. It was like that. And that's, I don't even know. Everything is stable. Nothing is moving. 
Okay, so we have this injustice that has happened, okay? There's been some sort of injustice, or you feel like it. This is a legal issue that may not have went in your favor, a court ruling, or somebody that didn't want to be held accountable for their action, actions. Uh, this is a lack of accountability. This is dishonesty. Um, this is an argument, placing blame. Somebody has been placing blame on another person, not wanting to be held accountable for their actions. I think that right now you may be in a state of confusion because you're not seeing something clearly. There's a reason why things happen. You may not know it, but there is. Um, the Princess of Wands, or the Prince of Wands, would I would consider uh, the Page of Wands reversed. Um, this could be the Knight of Wands as well, though, in this deck. Could be the Knight or the Page. In, in this case, it happens to look like the Knight. But I could, I would consider this uh, reversed by the way that I pick it up, like this, okay? So this would be like a sudden departure. Somebody could have suddenly departed from your life, or this is somebody that moves too fast, and there's reckless behavior. So you may not see something coming, and, and I'm not sure what this is, but you need to be, when you get the moon in the right now position, you need to be very careful. You need to slow down. This is moving too fast. So uh, my uh, my advice to you right now is to make sure that you are not speeding. Make sure you are not moving too fast. Make sure that you look, you're look you not acting recklessly. Because the Knight of Wands in reverse can be a show-off, somebody that is out of control. Now, this could be somebody that you are dealing with. It doesn't have to be you. This is overly competitive. This is forceful. This is somebody that has a chip on their shoulder, okay? So I'm not sure if you're dealing with this person or it's you, but this is a need to be cautious, slow down. Right now, you need to be cautious and make sure you see, are seeing things for what they are. Make sure you're not acting on impulse. Somebody may be acting on impulse or they could have some addictions that are clouding their ability to make wise decisions okay and it could get them in trouble the law could end up getting involved i know i only got three cards here but it's like you better be careful with what you are doing because you could get your ass in trouble and that is what i'm trying to say here so i'm not sure what is going on and now this doesn't have to be you it could be somebody that you are dealing with um i'm just gonna go ahead and lay these out Wow. So Capricorn, exhausted. Yeah, I think there's exhaustion. I mean, the Four of Swords is the death of an idea or person. It is. It's like where you need time to recuperate. You need time to relax. You need time to rest. You may be going through a period of, or you may need to isolate yourself from a situation. I'm not sure if somebody is passing away, and I, I don't like to scare people and say that all the time, but I feel like I need to say that because, it, or they have passed away, and I feel like it's it's like uh, you're you're feeling overwhelmed, and I think I think that you're grieving, you're grieving over something, and somebody doesn't have to pass away to grieve, or they don't. It doesn't have to be an actual death. Grieving, you, you grieve the loss of somebody, and I think that's what this is. Almost like you're grieving a loss. Anyway, in the past, you've been stuck, you've been trapped in a, trapped in your own head. Um, you've been staying in a situation that has kept you tied up. It's it's kept you uh, stuck um, in confinement. You've been confined. You've you've been refusing to break free. You've been in mental conflict. Conflict. Con conflict. You. Uh, it's like you haven't been thinking clearly. You've been refusing to see something as it is. That's where you've been. This is the past. It's like you just refuse to see. It's like you. You don't want to see it. You don't want to believe it. You don't. You don't want to accept the truth of a situation. That's where you've been, and you need to. You need to break free from this situation, even if it's not easy. Okay, I think that you need to reevaluate, and it's been a hard time accepting that where you're at isn't practical okay it's been a hard time accepting that um i feel like um right now right now this is you may be feeling defeated you may need to take a break you may may need a time out um a time out from the world you may be feeling dead inside you may be feeling empty inside because 
it's like something has ended okay something something has ended and you're feeling alone you're feeling like you need to be alone you may you and you may need to be alone you know i don't maybe you're feeling ill there there, there could be even some mental illness here okay and I, I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with there there could be some sort of mental illness that needs to be dealt with um i feel like right now um there's definitely some sickness okay and it's interesting a period of ill health or depression right here right here so i think right now that you might be going through that you might be going through a depression you know but we all do so don't don't uh, beat yourself up over it okay if you it, the it's the dark night of the soul moments and the illnesses and the sicknesses that uh change us right so in the future right here the ten of wands it looks like you have a long road ahead of you you do it looks like you you have a long ways to go and you're bringing too much with you why are you why are you still holding on to this why can't you let it go there's something that you don't need to bring with you and and so you need to let it go you know that it's like see you gotta you gotta let whatever it is that you're holding on to go you don't need to bring it it's like you got you got a long ways to go it's killing you it's 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 too much it's too heavy it's too burdensome it's too much just let it go just drop it you don't even need to bring it let somebody else carry it let somebody else deal with this drama let somebody else deal with this baggage you don't need it drop it drop it drop it drop it drop it see the sunset over there it's way beautiful over there you know, just drop this and go over there, okay? I feel as though it's like you're trying to prove something. And and it's too much. Why are you why what what do you really have to prove? You're trying to prove something to society? You're trying to prove something to a father figure or somebody that is in authority? This is I mean the high the hair of font reversed is having a hard time doing the right thing due to society, due to social pressure this is feeling disgraced so you may be feeling disgraced now you need to prove yourself you may be in a relationship that is no longer on the same page but you're worried about what everybody else is going to think so something is off okay there's there's hidden forces here it's like there's there's somebody from the other side that is telling you that you need to drop this please just drop it please just drop it stop doing this it's killing you this is killing you it's just making you sick just stop please stop that's what I hear okay now down here down here in your now advice the ten of pentacles reversed there's a family feud right family sorrow family feud turn away from this family feud stop fighting stop giving it your energy stop engaging with these people I feel as though there's an end of a family legacy and I don't know if it's a father or a father figure and I think it I think it's very sad I think it's very sorrowful it's very it's very um depressing to accept that you know this is it's the end it's the end of this legacy it's the end of this family uh situation I think there's been some sort definitely a family feud or something that has uh played out here and I think that you need to turn your back on it. You need to stop engaging. You just need to stop engaging. Stop giving it your energy. Um, I think in your environment, I don't know if you are dealing with a Leo. This person, um, this is in your environment. You're going to need to find your strength to restrain yourself, perhaps from this person. I don't know if this is a person or if this is energy for you. This is, is in your environment. You could be dealing with a Leo. Who, what is this person? This person, um, let's get a card for this. Fool. The fool is very impulsive. This person is probably foolish because the fool is foolish, takes risks, act, acts risky. Princess of Pit, not stable, insecure. We have somebody in your environment that plays a lot of games. This is a player. This person isn't stable. They present themselves to be very graceful. They present themselves to be very graceful and strong. And this person may be strong. They may be confident, but they're not who they say. They don't have integrity. 
The page of pentacles in reverse is somebody who doesn't have integrity. And this is foolish. And this is foolish. You are dealing in it with somebody that is foolish, that doesn't act in a practical manner. Now, the page of pentacles is also a dead end. So I think you need to find your strength to let go of somebody that this person may be very attractive. There's somebody in your environment that is attractive, right? They're attractive. They are very, uh, what is it? Seductive. I feel like this person is very seductive. They know how to seduce. They are very cunning. They are very clever. This person um, loves to have power over you. That's what this is. This person loves to have power over you. This person um, is impulsive. We definitely, this is a fool. This is a foolish, we have a foolish person in your environment that acts foolishly. Very inexperienced. The fool, this person is inexperienced. Does it follow through? Does it have anything of value to offer? This is in your environment. Who the hell is this? Unhealthy. Lacks common sense. You've got somebody over here that lacks common sense in your environment. And they're leading you down the wrong path. They're not stable at all. So anyway, I feel as though Capricorn... You know, you're hoping for stability, right? You're wanting security. You don't want to be alone, right? You just don't want to be alone. You're dealing with somebody who is very foolish. This person plays games. It's the player card. This is too. You're dealing with somebody who is playing with you. They are playing with you because they have complete control over you. This is another power trip. This person is on a power trip. They are the ones that is causing the family drama, the family feud. You're dealing with somebody that is very controlling. And it's like you allow it. You allow them to keep you stuck. You got somebody here that is keeping you stuck. And they put everything onto you. It's like they place all the blame on you. They're not taking any blame for anything. You're allowing it. You're even accepting it. It's like you're taking the blame. Sick. It is definitely sick. Anyhow, um, now in your hopes and fears, I don't want to be alone, right? You don't want to be alone, but I'm here to tell you this person does not complete you. They do not complete you. In the future, this re there's going to be a divorce. There's going to be a divorce. This relationship is not on the same page. Or there's going to be a split. That's a split or a divorce. It's like you guys don't share the same values. You don't. This is overwhelming. In the future, I feel like somebody's going to drop out of this. There's, they are. Somebody, this is a drop out and this is drop it. So there's going to be dropping out. And this person acts impulsively. One minute they they want to do something and the next minute they want to do the next. They, they don't know what they want. They don't. They're very confused. We definitely have somebody here that is very confused. They've caused a lot of problems. This is total. There could be some total ruin as well. When you get the Ten of Pentacles reversed, this is a short-lived success. This is fighting over money, marrying for money. Somebody's been living beyond their means. This is this is a, a huge loss, like losing it all. So I, I feel like uh, you, my advice to you. Oh, God damn is to drop it. Drop whatever this is. Drop it. Go to where there is peace. Go your own way. Protect yourself. You have the strength to take care of yourself. This person that you are holding on to, there is somebody that you are holding up, that you are, you know, you keep thinking about, thinking about, thinking about. Right now they have power and control over you. They are stealing your energy. It's almost like they're killing you. Slowly. 
draining you. This person does not complete you. This person, you know, it's like you don't want to be alone. You are strong. You are strong. Yeah, yeah, you've been wounded, right? This person has hurt you. Now it's time to set boundaries. It's time to put your barrier up. It's time to say, you no more, no more. I'm not going to do this, but I'm not going to take all the blame for this. Anyhow, Capricorn, what is the overall outcome of this month? I think that, you know, we, we do have a need to heal, a time to recuperate. Um, there is some sort of uh, relationship that is not on the same page. It's probably going to be a split with that hair of font, a divorce or something that is coming into play. Um, seven of Swords, getting caught. Getting caught, the truth coming out, lies being exposed. Somebody is going to, uh, it's almost like they, they're not looking where they're going. Somebody isn't looking where they're going and they trip up. They make a mistake. Somebody is going to make a foolish mistake and they're going to get caught. They are going to get caught. Somebody is going to get caught in a lie. <laughs> the emperor. Something to do with a father. Something to do with a father figure. Or a very, somebody that is very authority. Definitely with that. Your heart hero font reversed. And the emperor reversed. There's some sort of authoritative figure. That has been. Is feeling disgraced. And they're acting shady. And they're acting sneaky. And they're going to get caught. They're going to get caught. They're going to get caught. Uh, trying to do whatever they're doing. That is against the law. Okay. There's like a corrupt leader here. There is. There's like a corrupt leader here that is trying to prove something, no doubt. We definitely have somebody here that is trying to prove something. This person that is trying to prove something is going to get caught. They're going to get caught doing something that is against the law. And it feels like they, they maybe they end up in jail. I know this is in the past, but it feels like somebody could end up in jail or they could end up in rehab. Something is going to happen. Okay. Uh, we have the emperor reversed. This, the emperor reversed is some is criminal criminal activity and getting caught. Somebody is going to get caught for doing something that is against the law. And it's almost like it's it could be a shock. I'm surprised we don't have the tower. I am surprised. Um, and maybe it's it's you know help from above. It's like maybe there's 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 some sort of. Uh, angel or somebody that has passed away that causes this reveal okay there is some sort of truth or lie or something that is about to be revealed and this is it's, i think it's going to be shocking i don't need the tower i think it is going to be a shock something has been hidden somebody has been hiding the truth they have been lying there's been some sort of deception there's no doubt about it and and I feel they've been they've been whatever they've been doing they they're feeling disgraced. There's a lot of disgrace here, and and now it's like now they want to prove they want to prove something that you know it wasn't them. It's like place blame on somebody else. It's like wow, you know this wasn't me. This wasn't me. What it was, you know they don't want to take ownership. I don't want to be held accountable for my actions. That's what this is. So we got somebody that doesn't want to be held accountable for any of their actions, and they're going to act foolishly. And they're going to get caught for acting foolishly. And it's going to cause some sort of family sorrow. It is. It is. So, uh, all I can say, really, I don't need the fives. I don't need, I expect the unexpected. Something that has been brewing below the surface is about to be shown. I feel like, you know, I don't know if something, somebody is going to, you know, end up in jail or they're going to end up in rehab or, or something like that. That could certainly be the case. I'm feeling that strongly. I feel like we have somebody here that is very, very, very unstable and they're scheming. They're scheming something up. And I think that they're going to get caught before their scheme uh, gets to, uh, gets them the reward that they're looking for. I think that they're going to get caught and it's going to be an extreme, uh, 
blow to their ego, a bigger blow than they even had before. I really do. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, expect the unexpected Capricorn. I think it's going to be a big month of revelation. Okay. Somebody has been uh, not telling the truth. And they have been scheming because they're feeling disgraced. And I think their schemes are going to come to light. I do. Somebody's going to act recklessly. Okay, there's reckless behavior here. It's like, ha, huh, they think they're getting away with it, but they slip. There's a slip. And the slip reveals everything and the shit hits the fan. So, uh, yikes. Uh, whew. Wow. Yeah, there's reckless behavior. Somebody's not looking where they're going. They're not looking or they're not thinking. They're moving too fast and there's a slip up. And it causes an uproar. This slip up causes a big old bang. Okay. And that's what I hear. It's like a bang. It's like, wow. Wow. Um, there's going to, this is a, this is a loss. I think there could be. It, losing it all with the nine of pentacles reverse and the ten of pentacles reverse is like losing it all scheming lying cheating doing something against the law causes somebody to just lose it all you could be dealing with a leo you could be dealing with an aries we have aries here as well could be dealing with a libra It's like you must take action to bring stability back to your life. And you have to do it in a justified manner. You can't do it against the law. And whether it's you or somebody, somebody is doing something against the law. And they're going to get caught. And that's what I got to say. I don't, I don't know if it's for you or whoever it is. But it feels like somebody could end up in handcuffs. So be prepared. Something to do with a father, because these are both fathers. Something to do with a father that has abused his power. This father has abused his power. Father figure or man. It's a masculine. It is definitely a masculine. But we also have this person over here, which is in the environment. So that's somebody else. This is in your environment. This person is playing games as well. This person is acting foolishly. So it's like, this is like two fools that are both going to fall. So I think that, 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 that there's a family feud that is definitely coming to an end. Because I think somebody is, is, is probably going to end up going away. Good luck.